Eastern Veil is an object that I've seen many pictures of and it's always captivated me. Uh, I've been wanting to shoot this object for a while now and uh, I think tonight might be my chance. I'm going to be pointing my telescope towards the south, actually more uh, directly up from where I am right now, uh, to capture a lot of frames on the Eastern Veil. I think I'm going to be able to get some really good data using my Raza on this object and uh, I don't really plan on being out here too long tonight so the Raza is perfect in that sense. This object is just outside the Summer Triangle in the constellation Cygnus and it should be very easy for me to capture this object uh, from where I am. I'm currently in uh, Thunder Bay which is a Bortle 2 zone. Uh, this is the best Bortle zone that I've been in so far, though I still plan on using my Celestron a light pollution filter that is in the Raza because I am in a, a trailer park and there are some immediate lights around me. Um, but I should be able to collect a lot of good data. Um, I'm excited to see what I can do with uh, time-lapse photography on the Milky Way as well. Uh, let's get cracking. I still have a, a few more hours before the sun goes down, so I'm gonna get everything set up. I do have my mount that you can see behind me, but uh, I still have to put the telescope on top and do some other things. So I'm gonna get started and I'll catch up with you guys in a bit. All right, let's do a, a quick rundown on the equipment that I'm gonna be using tonight. I'm going to be using my Raza 8-inch telescope, which shoots at f2.0. And that again will be perfect for tonight, since I'm going to be shooting for a little bit of time and not throughout the entirety of the night. On top I have the Orion 50mm guide scope. Uh, behind that is the ASI 120 camera by CWO. Uh, my mini PC is sitting on top, as well as the uh, pocket power box by Pegasus Astra. And at the back here I have the Celestron focuser, as well as a red dot finder. Uh, one of the new things I'm going to be doing tonight is trying out this power box. This is a 600 watt power box called the Eliminator, and this should be able to power my rig through the entirety of the night. Uh, at least that's what the hope is. So I'm going to test this out and see how much power I have before and after use. Right now it looks like I have, oh, I have to hold it, 100%. So we'll see what that reads uh, later on in the night. The camera that I plan on attaching to the Raza is the ZWO ASI 294 MC Pro camera. Uh, this is a cooled camera that is great for long exposure astrophotography. That'll sit on the front of this telescope with a dew shield. I also have uh, a dew heater strap that I'm going to be putting on there, as well as the sensor, and uh, some other cables there for the camera and the mount. I'll be setting up outside tonight, just uh, at the end of the driveway, between the RV and the truck. Should be a good spot to see my object. In the middle of summer, dusk seems to take forever to set into astronomical twilight, after the sky is no longer illuminated by the sun. Alright guys, it's the middle of the night and my imaging session is going well. I can see that I'm collecting some really good data on this Eastern Veil Nebula. My camera settings for tonight are 60 seconds of exposure and I'm using uh, Unity Gain. I'm also using uh, the cooled feature which brings it down to uh, minus 16 degrees tonight. Um, it is pretty warm tonight so I'm not able to get it down below minus 20, uh, but that's fine. Uh, this location is the least amount of light pollution that I've had to shoot in, and uh, I can definitely see a difference. Uh, you can clearly see the Milky Way above, which is awesome. I've also been doing some uh, time-lapse videos of the night, and uh, I'm seeing a lot of meteors. A lot of satellites, but also a lot of meteors. Uh, the Perseids meteor shower is in full effect, and uh, it's putting on a great show tonight. It wasn't long before the moon was up above the trees, illuminating the sky and bringing an end to my night. I was able to capture 94 frames on this object before calling it quits. I took some calibration frames and then covered the telescope with the hopes of using it again tomorrow.
It's a brand new day, and uh, I gotta say, I had a beautiful night of astrophotography yesterday. Uh, probably the most perfect night I've ever had. A Bordel 2 zone, uh, I was only out here for about two hours or so, and I collected some amazing data. Uh, on my lunchtime today, during work, I processed uh, an amazing image, and uh, probably one of my best images since starting astrophotography. When I was processing the image uh, during my lunch break today, uh, I didn't have to use too much noise reduction. Uh, it wasn't hard to pull out colors uh, from this nebula, and uh, I really think I got some amazing results in the end. And yeah, tonight is gonna be another clear night, so I plan on shooting the rest of the Veil Nebula, the western side of the Veil Nebula, to see if I can complete that Cygnus loop. I know I actually might not be able to get uh, all of that uh, Cygnus loop in frame, or the rest of the Cygnus loop that I need in frame, um, but it would be awesome if I can get both sides of the Veil Nebula. Um, that's the plan for tonight. Uh, there's nothing too fancy. Uh, my telescope is right where I left it last night, so uh, it's not going to take me long to get set up at all. All I have to do is just give my telescope power and uh, then turn it on. After that, I'm going to be ready to go. Uh, North Celestial Pole is already aligned, and uh, a star alignment won't take long at all as well. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to be back out here around 10 o'clock or so, probably 10.30, and uh, then I'm going to start shooting the Western Veil. Okay, so it didn't take me long, but I am set up for the night. Um, I'm going to be doing the same camera settings that, that I did last night because I mess with perfection. Uh, so that is 60 seconds of exposure at Unity Gain. Um, I'm going to get about 100 shots before the night is through and then stack uh, the best images that I can. I had to do a bit of a, a star alignment, but uh, polar alignment was already done and uh, everything else was already set up. Uh, it really makes me wish I had uh, my own observatory where I didn't have to set up every night, but uh, traveling and taking this mount uh, around Canada is half the fun. Anyways, I'm gonna turn off these lights and start taking my first frames, so I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, it's uh, time for another midnight update. Um, the session is going great. Uh, there's nothing more I can say about that. Uh, just like last night, uh, I have no complaints. Um, it is so awesome shooting in a Boral 2 zone. It, it really is a game changer. The Perseids meter shower is still in effect tonight and uh, there's so many out there. It's actually kind of cool hearing some neighboring campsites saying, oh look, I, I just saw another one. Uh, so that's always cool. And um, yeah, it's, it's really keeping me entertained and they're really fun to watch. It's uh, definitely uh, one of the best times I've had doing astrophotography. There's so much to see and, and so much to do uh, just with your naked eyes, uh, not just with the telescope. Anyways, I have 25 more frames to capture before I'm done for the night, so uh, you guys won't probably see me again, but um, stay safe, uh, clear skies, and uh, I'll talk to you soon.